welcome. Welcome to the Pulaski High School 2023 Commencement Ceremony. It is my pleasure to ask us all to warmly welcome the Pulaski High School Band under the direction of Tom Bush.
Area Veterans Association and the Pulaski High School Choir. Please remain standing until the veterans are seated.
my name is Steve Linson, Associate Principal here at Pulaski High School. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage Eric Sperduto, Senior Class President. Eric will, Eric will be providing the welcome address on behalf of the class of 2003, 2023. Good evening. I am Eric Sperduto, Senior Class President, and it is my pleasure to welcome all of you here tonight to celebrate the graduation of the Class of 2023. On behalf of all the seniors, I would like to give a huge thank you to the parents, guardians, friends, family, faculty, administration, and the Pulaski School Board of Education for joining us tonight. Your love, support, guidance, Love, support, and guidance throughout our lives has led us to this moment. Each one of you has made an impact on the graduates here before you today. Tonight will truly be a night to remember and cherish as we honor the achievements of the class of 2023. The accomplishments and accolades of this class are nothing short of impressive, and the legacy that our class will leave will be remembered for a very long time. Tonight, the efforts of our class will be recognized and celebrated as each one of these talented seniors will receive their diploma. So, without further ado, oh no, sorry, it's just the choir, thank you. <laughs> Music has always been an important part of the curriculum in the Pulaski Community School District. At this time, the Pulaski School Choir, under the direction of Miss Catherine Brown, will be entertaining us with a music selection titled Water Fountain.
Hello, my name is Brooke Lynch, Associate Principal here at Pulaski High School. I am excited to welcome to the stage Katherine Heck, our first senior speaker to share her speech, an ode to the class of 23. One second, please. There, that's better. Good evening, friends, families, educators, and more. We are gathered here today to honor the passing of our late secondary education. Gone, but certainly not forgotten. It has been a wild ride these past few years, and I am grateful to have spent it with all of you. I'd like to start with an excerpt from a poem called The Dash by Linda Ellis. It starts, I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke the following day with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. That's what I'll be talking about today, our small four-year dash that we call high school. It's crazy to think that we started this journey in September of 2019. I don't know about you, but this ceremony definitely snuck up on me. When speaking about someone's life, it's hard to get in so many years and experiences into a speech that is short and quick-witted. But since I am indeed both short and quick-witted, I'll do my best. Our early years were about getting the lay of the land and figuring out exactly what we were here at PHS. There was a new schedule, GPAs that mattered, and figuring out what the theme was for the next football game. We had a lot to learn. I remember my first time meeting my homeroom. Mr. Emmerich forced everyone to make a tunnel for the incoming freshmen to walk through, and Mrs. Karch had us do this speed dating icebreaker. This was our welcome into high school. Little do we know that in the next four years, we would meet new friends and make countless memories together. And for that, we are forever grateful. As a freshman class, we were followers that didn't want to stick out in the crowd. I had vivid memories of sticking pencils and gum wrappers in the hoods of kids in front of me during biology large group with Grace Goodness and Annie Hayward to pass the time. Thank goodness half that year got canceled due to COVID. I'm kidding. Remember the pandemic? Just days after Kayla Miller was crowned Mr. PHS, our lives changed drastically as we plunged into a world of virtual learning. Sophomore year, we started to gain our personality, even if a lot of it was from behind a screen. Our teachers did their best to help us learn during such crazy times, and it definitely made us adaptable and resilient. We learned to cope with isolation using patience and humor. I remember watching someone make oatmeal in the middle of Mr. Mentink's English class, and everyone met my pet ducks on Friday's Red Raider report. We came to class in pajamas with bed head and bad breath. And let's be honest, some of us didn't give up that habit once we came back. We made the best of things, and digital learning helped us appreciate the value of school as an in-person experience. We became more spontaneous, and like fishing in Alaska, we started doing things just for the halibut. <laughs> By the time we were juniors, we had left sophomore island and looked ahead to our future. We started to plan for college, for the military, or for the workforce. Our classes became more specialized. We took tours and submitted applications. People started to emerge as individuals. We came into our own and didn't necessarily have to follow the crowd. A lot of people ask me what it's like to be a teacher's kid. Well, junior year, I got that experience of what it's like to have my own mom as a teacher. And let me tell you, it was one heck of an experience. <laughs> so here we are, seniors. The captains of the Red Sea must come ashore and go their separate ways. Look around, some of us have been together since kindergarten. The end is here and we can all reflect on what an amazing journey it's been. Truly, it is, but truly, it is just the beginning. We must say our goodbyes to our childhood and face whatever our future holds. Some of us will never step foot in Pulaski High School again after leaving today. Some of us will be back as early as tomorrow for band or sports. Some of us will be back someday just to visit and say hello. Who knows, maybe down the road, some of us will watch our own children walk across the stage as they say their last goodbyes to good old PHS. Whatever way you go, just know we sure made our dash from 2019 to 2023 mean something. We are so grateful for our time here and blessed to have made it to the end of 13 years of education well spent. 
And so, to end my speech, I'll leave you with a few words of wisdom I have gained over my experience here at Pulaski High School. This, above all, to thine own self, be true. Mr. Martin Krauss. Booyah, like a boss. At this time, it is my pleasure to call Eric Sperduto to the stage as our next senior speaker to share his speech, Enjoy the Ride. Thank you. And thank you teachers, administration, parents, distinguished guests, and of course, the class of 2023. I'm honored to speak before you today. When preparing this speech, I struggled with what idea I wanted to focus on and I spent a long time researching advice. One piece of advice I found was to make the speech the same length that I spend in passing time. However, if I followed that advice, we'd all be here for 10 minutes. Hey, I like to take my time. Another piece of advice I found was to find a common theme for our class. I thought back through our history together and remembered that not too long ago, we were all seated just like this at our eighth grade promotion, filled with anticipation for the future and ready to take the next step into high school. Similarly, just a few weeks before that, we were all filled with a different type of anticipation while waiting in line for the rides at Great America. And that is when I came up with this brilliantly original analogy. Are you ready? Our experience in high school has been a roller coaster. I know, I know, it's pretty cheesy, but that's why we live in Wisconsin. <laughs> all right, you're, <laughs> you're all probably wondering, there is no way that this guy is about to give a speech comparing high school to a roller coaster. But truly, this is the best analogy for our class. We have hit the highest highs and the lowest lows. Freshman year started on a high and went by in an exciting blur. I remember the first football games, standing in the back of the student section, watching all the upperclassmen dressed up in crazy costumes, yelling obscenities at the other team. <laughs> I remember our first spirit week in Fall Fest. We should have won. <laughs> I remember freshman civics and asking Mr. Nickerson for a mint every day in class. After sitting back down, I then remember falling asleep, or rather, waking up to everyone laughing at me. I also remember the same naps during large group biology. Little did we know, we would all be taking many more naps at the end of the year when our high school roller coaster took a big dip. I remember first hearing about this COVID thing running around and just brushing it off. I then remember the excitement of going for a two week break, which turned out to be a four week break, then a three month break. In our Google Meets, we took naps, played video games, scrolled on TikTok, and ate lots of snacks. We missed our friends and family during that time, resorting to FaceTime calls and awkward mass meetings with lots of hand sanitizer. During online school, we missed playing our sports. We missed chemistween, and we missed normal interactions with other people. I even remember the threat of missing toilet paper and starting to rank alternatives. <laughs> Dark times. I then remember coming back to normal school and having to take your mask off just for everyone to see the acne infested face you've been hiding. <laughs> but that dip in our ride didn't last forever. Normal school brought us over the next rise, bringing many more good memories with it. Like the time that Mr. Gussie started a garbage bin on fire in large group and had to run into my dad's room to put it out. <laughs> or even playing our condensed spring sports sophomore year. I remember almost canceling homecoming last year due to some free, <laughs> free roaming feces. <laughs> and then waiting in line for one boy's bathroom. I remember taking the ACT with a space bar that didn't work. Then junior prom, summer, and boom, senior year was already here. There were the football games, going to watch boys soccer at state, our marching band getting accepted to Pasadena, chat GPT coming out. Then Christmas, the start of second semester, all of the extra snow in March, and now graduation. Through all of the ups, downs, loop-de-loops, and even some spooky sections in the dark, all of us rode this high school roller coaster together. But all of us had very different seats. Some of us sat up front, experiencing all of the ups and downs first, excited to look ahead to the next turn or loop, and ambitious in leading the ride. Some of us sat in the middle, content with experiencing the ride between everyone else. 
or just more comfortable with letting other people go first. And some of us sat in the back, getting whipped around every corner and ending the ride with some serious whiplash. Each one of these different experiences was unique to each one of us, giving us all memories, lessons, and connections that will last us for the rest of our lives. And just like how we might not enjoy looking at those instant photos of us screaming after the roller coaster, we may look back on high school with some regrets and some embarrassing moments. Just remember that everybody made mistakes and looked silly at one point along the way. The best thing that we can do is to learn from these mistakes and allow them to shape us as young adults. Because after today, we all step off the roller coaster of high school and onto our own individual roller coasters of life, bringing even more challenges. It all went by so quickly. It seemed like only a few, only a few years ago when we were in elementary school getting our school issued emails and thinking that 2023 is so far away. With how fast that time went, it won't be long until we're all middle-aged and sore everywhere. <laughs> sore because in life, just like in roller coasters, the further we go, the more sore we get. So we better enjoy being young now. Go forward after today, fearless in your goals. Take chances, have fun, and seek out new challenges. But don't let these challenges beat you down. Nothing in life is permanent. We will all have failures and we will all have successes, but it's all temporary. Bad times don't last forever, so just hang in there. Good times will come and go, so hang on to them. Without the lows, the highs would not be as thrilling. So enjoy the process and keep pushing to meet your goals. Be kind to one another and to yourselves. And most of all, in spite of all the challenges you're all sure to face, Never forget to put your hands up and enjoy the ride of life. Thank you. Let's have another round of applause for these great speakers. While we're at it, let's have a round of applause for this graduating class. <laughs> Welcome again to the Pulaski High School commencement ceremony. My name is Jeremy Pock. I'm the proud principal here at Pulaski High School. I have a few housekeeping items for us to begin this portion of the program. I'd ask that following tonight's ceremony, all graduates and their families take advantage of the banners, the props, the photo booth, the balloon arches, that student councils provided in both the English and social studies hallways outside in the courtyard and in the commons. Uh, graduates, I would encourage you to uh, take a picture with your friends and family following this special occasion. To mark this occasion, you'll look back at those photos later on and enjoy that part. I would also call your attention to the front of the field house here to a table where we have pl flowers placed. Uh, we place this chair as a way to honor those former Pulaski High School graduates who are no longer with us and to honor those classmates or family that are no longer here with us, but are here tonight with us in spirit. These past few years make it important for me to say thank you to quite a few people for their efforts. A very specific and pointed thank you goes out to me personally to the support staff, our teaching staff, the Board of Education, our superintendent, and parents of the Pulaski Community School District, who've all worked diligently for the success of our students. I'm extremely proud of our collective efforts, and I look forward to our continued growth. It gives me great joy to thank these important people who all put forth countless hours for the betterment of all of our schools. A very special thanks goes out to our retirees for the many service, years of service to the district. I want to wish all of our retirees Godspeed during their upcoming retirement. To the parents of the class of 2023, You've done a remarkable job raising a marvelous group of young adults. It has been a joy to watch you celebrate their successes, especially the milestone they're reaching tonight. Please know that we're celebrating your success too. I've saved the best for last, the class of 2023. You're a wonderful group and you've been a joy most of the time. <laughs> On a serious note, I sat long and hard and thinking about what I was going to give you as a gem of knowledge today. Looking back at my life, the lives of others who've touched mine, and people who are currently in my life for a zap of an idea to share. I have some short advice for you, and I hope you'll use these pieces of advice 
during the course of your lives outside of these school building walls. Number one, your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Number two, do not let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your own inner voice. Number three, most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. Your heart and, in and intuition seem to already know what you want to become. Everything else after that is secondary. To tell the truth, I had hundreds of examples and hundreds of stories that I could share that would help impose some type of life lesson or wisdom. Ultimately, during that process, I thought back to my own graduation night, which I'm sure countless of our virtual and physical audience members are doing tonight as well. The feeling of accomplishment and freedom I felt was unparalleled, and the opportunities that lay in front of me were absolutely endless. Hang on to the feeling you have today, because there are a few feelings like it that happened during your life. Also keep in mind that over the past three to five years, as you've shared, you've been witnessing a very interesting time in history. History will also be made in your lives tonight. In a few short minutes, you'll become members of a fraternity that is made up of doctors, lawyers, mechanics, farmers, teachers, engineers, and just about any other occupation and profession you can think of that make up the fraternity of alumni from this terrific district. As a senior myself, I personally felt like the entire year seemed like a blur. But that feeling of happiness and joy that I had when it all wrapped up, I will likely not forget. Seniors, as you look across the members of your family watching here today, and you'll likely see them smiling. So go ahead and take a look at your family members and see them smiling and wave. Take a second. Hey, seniors, that was a warm-up for your smile for later, okay? All right. As you look out into that crowd, you see your family. They're happy for you. They're very, very happy for you. They're possibly reliving the memories that they had when they were your age. Your families have much wisdom they can share with you. Listen to what they have to say, because the words they use to assist you along in this time of your life can help you hold on to this terrific feeling you have today. In closing, may you all be blessed with success, and may all of your futures be filled with good health, patience, and strength. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Allison Space, on behalf of our education team here at Pulaski High School, I, Jeremy Pock, certify that all the seniors before us have met or exceeded the requirements for a diploma. At this time, officers Eric Spruduto, Sam Murphy, Charles Dufferin, and Peter Zell will come to the podium to do roll call. Jack Ryan. <laughs> Catherine Heck. <laughs> Jake Adams. <laughs> Hector Alcaide Pinedo. Braden Allen. Chase Ambrosius. Daniel Anderson. Caden Anderson. Q 
Kira Anderson. Elise Isabel Annie Ankerson. Martin H. Augustine. Eli Backus. Regan Michael Bainan. Mason Allen Baker. Cole Biren. Eben Bengarden. Nicole Berna. Ali Bernetsky. Claire Betley. Lauren Ray Benkowski. Lily Boyden. Ashlyn Ann Burr. Sarah Block. Derek J. Block. Samuel A. Blessel. Ethan Bougie. <laughs> Niall Roberts Breinfeld. <laughs> Willow A. Brunette. <laughs> Joshua Allen Bryant. Abigail Bersinski. <laughs> Hayden John Burkle. <laughs> Tyler M. Karens. <laughs> Josie Campbell. <laughs> Anna Cannon. Dylan Carley. <laughs> Mia Chrisman. <laughs> Ryder Joseph Christensen. <laughs> Madeline Rose Christensen. <laughs> Kylie Cole. Maverick J. Cole. <laughs> Natalie Jean Compton. <laughs> Brayden Cornejo. <laughs> Maya Cornejo. Kayla Cootley. Lillian Emily Collingford. Allison Marie Daly. Veda Marie Dawson. Megan D. Bush. Yeah. 
Austin T. Decker. Alana D. Jarlis. Spencer M. DeVolk. Madeline Ethenthaler. Grayson Diesel Dixon. Leighton Dorner. Jacob Doxtator. Ryan Drafts. Mackenzie Dreaves. Michaela Elizabeth Du. Hilly Duquesne. Alec R. Dutch. Natalie Lauren Dial. Kaylee Ella Eastman. Nicholas E. Ebelt. Jacob Ebent. Ethan M. Eggert. Carly Elliott. Carla Mia Esner. Janelle Christine Erickson. Brayden Aaron. Noah Jean Farrell. Trevin R. Fatla. William D. Friedman. Katie Lynn Featon. Angelina C. Fulgioni. Evelise Gajewski. Hunter L. Gerbers. Trenton L. Gibbons. Nicholas Gibbs. Natalie Marie Giesel. Xander Goltz. Nolie Gooding. Grace Luis Goodness. Madeline Shea Grell. Michelle Dakota Grimes. Madeline Grace Griskoviak. Riley Kathleen Gielig. Mark I. Gutenberger.
Harrison Gwent. Caden Hag. Tyler A. Hagen. Herbert Gavin Haldeman. John Hansen. Luke Hanstead. Isabella Rose Harris. Annie Hayward. Kylie Robin Heinz. Ella Ann Heinz. Caitlin Heiser. Braden Hensel. Lauren Veronica Rose Harrison. Audrey Herlash. Jesse Hernandez. Mason Hunter Hernandez. Garrett W. Hilbert. Maisie Hill. Brianne Lee Hodge. Peyton Marie Horn. Riley Howlett. Timothy Joseph Huber. Summer Brianne Yeager. Ian Scott Janice. Ali Jarak. Grace Marie Jarose. Mason Jensen. Raymond David Johnson. Carly Jones. Audrin Just. Maggie Kaiser. Jax S. Kanusha. Brianna Kapla. Ethan Kellner. Carson Lee Kidd. Robert Kinner. Robert Kinner. Rihanna Kissinger. Broden Richard 
close. Kale Knuth. Hunter Kobalarchuk. Hayden Joseph Kocha. Mitchell Koenig. Kian James Kamarowski. <laughs> Alex Kuzov. <laughs> Kendra Kozicki. <laughs> Kylie Elizabeth Kramer. Brady Krause. Caitlin Nicole Krause. Madeline Kramer. Ella Ann Krieger. Connor Lardnoy. Jace Larshide. Angelica Larson. Jessica Larson. Ryan Lasher. Angeli Lee. Emma Leimkuller. Brooke Laments. Lacey Lemke. Austin Lipsy, Gianna Logie, McKenna Lowry, Olivia Mackey, Marley McCoyak. Savannah Malakot. Caitlin Manti. Madison Marcel. Jalen Moronic. Jackson Marsh. Joshua Martinucci. Brady McAllister. Aiden McDougal. Maria McFadden. Ryan McGrath. Landon McKeefrey. Samuel Mead. Grady Melgar. Chase Many. Chase! 
Mackenzie Meyer. Caleb Mahalski. Aiden Mikulski. Bo Minton. Jada Moreno. Nathan Mork. Braden Moreland. Mia Nauman. Isabel Nelson. Grace Wynn. Kaylin Nickel. Delaney Nickerson. Tyler Nishke. Tanner Knoll. Griffin Nowak. Haley Olson. Taylor Olson. Angela Apoka. Braden Otto. Tyler Pagel. Sally Palmer. Samuel Parker. William Houts. Kevin Piata. Lillian Pienta. Anna Pilon. Olivia Poza. Lydia Pratt. Zach Shabilsky. Ethan Pullen. M. Ragland III. Kiana Rayleigh. Brody Reisenbugler. Ben Riggle. Gatlin Robitic. Treva Robitic. Abigail Roberts. Trinity Roffers. Grayson Rondo. McKenna Rubin. Sabrina Rudnick. Luke Rutzela. Gaden Rubicki. Oh, damn. Joe Sampo. Dorca Santana Lagunas. Cassandra Schauer. Max Schlorf. Kayla Schmidt.
Taya Schmidt. Caitlin Schupelz. Tyler Schwartz. Nathan Seitz. Emma Wynn Shanley. Derek Shaw. Alyssa Sheedlow. Jacob Shepard. Dylan Shipley. Lincoln Simons. Emily Scala. Aubrey Sobieszczak. Emma Sorensen. Mackenzie Specht. Grace Spindler. Jordan Spindler. Laura Sprangers. Luke Stachura. Lydia Stachura. Anthony Steffen. Brock Steinbrecher. Mason Steppin. Abigail Stiglitz Lafleur. Lucas Stubbe. Leslie Stieber. Stacy Shemansky. Corbin Tackmeyer. Tristan Taylor. Kamea Teller. Anna Tesmer. Hisham Timejardine. Brooklyn Turner. Graciela Valdez. Tyler Van Voxtel. Cassidy Van de Corpet. Madison Van de High. Trinity Vanden Heuvel. Peyton Vanderlinden. Aiden Van Schindel. Charles Van Sickle. Mallory Walton. Mason Wells. Elena Welsing. Charlie Went. Lexi Winnesheimer.
Zachary Westcott. Soren Weinberg. Jalen Whitcomb. Noel Whiting. Callie Weedy. Haley Wiedemann. Hannah Wielgus. Ella Weezy. Taryn Willette. Catherine Willis. Kennedy Wilson. Brady Watruba. Michael Wyant. Kayla Zorn. Peter Zhao. Charlie Dufferin. Eric Spurdoodle. Samuel Murphy. Please welcome back to the stage, Superintendent Allison Space. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Education, administration, and the staff of the Pulaski Community School District, I am honored to present you the Pulaski High School graduating class of 2023.